guys how are you doing welcome to my channel my name is miss kenya and i promised you a video every day of this week and because we are in the holiday seasons i thought that i would make a holiday recipe or a recipe that is made mostly during this festivities and i want to make soup <laughs> i know and the soup that i'm going to be making can be used as an appetizer it can be used as a side dish it can be used to take snacks so it's a really good soup and i love it i love it if you've ever, ever been into my house you know that i love butternut squash soup because i think i make it for almost all my guests <laughs> Yeah, so today we are going to be making that and I am going to make it in coconut milk. I don't often do that. Most of the time I just make it in chicken broth, but today I'm going to be making it in coconut milk and i don't want to talk too much let's get into the video already and as always please give this video a thumbs up let me know about your thoughts on the comment section below and let's get started that you are going to be needing we need the main ingredient which of course is the butternut squash and it has to be peeled seeded and cut into cubes and we need carrots I'm going to be using two of these we need coconut milk we need butter I'm using the salted butter we need onion I will use half we need garlic I'm going to be using three cloves of this garlic and we need spring onion. I love, love, love the taste that this one brings into the soup. I'm going to be using two. And finally, we need chicken stock or you can use beef, whichever that you have. And I have already prepared mine. So let me show you that. These are my ingredients. I have already prepared them. This is the butternut squash plus the carrots seeded and cut into small cubes. This is my spring onion. And this is my onion, which I, as I told you, I was going to use a half. This is half of it. And this is my garlic. I have used three cloves, which are not as big so this is the whole of it and as you can see I haven't made it fine because we are going to blend the whole mixture and it's going to become fine so let's get into cooking i am going to melt a spoonful of this butter and remember i'm using the salted butter into a pan and i will wait for it to melt and then i will add the rest of the ingredients is melted I'm going to add my onion in bits starting with the red onion and remember for this recipe you don't have to wait for the onion to brown so after it's fully covered in the butter I will wait for like a minute or so before adding the garlic. And then I will add my garlic. And wait for this to to be ready at least i will wait until my onion is translucent before adding the spring onion just a little bit translucent because we are not making meat for this recipe i only wait for my onion to to brown if i am making meat and for this recipe it's not meat so I will just wait until it's a little bit translucent and then I will add the spring onion because of course the spring onion cooks faster than the garlic 
and the red onion. The red onion is already translucent and the garlic has browned. So I'm going to add my spring onion. And the reason why I'm adding the onions like this is because I want to have another of like a build up of taste and flavors. I don't like putting them in the pot at once. So that is it. I'm not going to wait for the spring onion to brown or to overcook. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of soil, of salt. Sorry. <laughs> Remember, we used we used the salted butter. So I'm going to add just a little bit. I will add my squash and the carrots. And mix all the ingredients well. So that the carrots and the squash can get the taste of the onions and the salt of course. I think this is the most simple soup <laughs> to make and I love the fact that it's full of flavor and taste and you can use this as an appetizer, you can use it as a side dish, you can use it in the morning as breakfast. So. cover it for around three minutes to allow the squash to get the piece of the onion and then I'll come back and continue from there so let's cover this up and allow the squash to to get all the flavors of the other ingredients as I told you butternut cooks really fast and mine is ready as you can see it, it can even be smashed using a mulko so i'll add a little bit of coconut milk and you can totally skip the coconut milk if you don't like it at this point you can blend it as it is but because i love it creamy and i love the taste of coconut milk i'm going to add a little bit of it and i love 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 this coconut milk the virginia garden i love it i love it so i'm going to to add just a little bit because i want the soup to be really thick yeah i think that is enough you can add it as you go so And you can totally add the milk even in the blender as you blend. So this is how it looks. And I think I will add a little bit more of the milk. Yeah. There is no way that is not enough. And I will allow the squash to absorb the, the milk just like a minute or two. 
and then I will blend this and we will see the outcome. Also, you can totally skip out the carrots if you don't like them, but I love the sugarly taste that they bring in the squash so that is why i added the carrots but most of the times i don't even use the carrots so you can totally skip that out put this in the blender and i'll blend it until it's smooth As you can see our soup is now blended and fine and smooth but I'm going to to blend it a little bit because I want it to be extra smooth. is it I love it as thick as it is so let me put it in a bowl so that you can see it well see this is delicious this is delicious and you can use it as an appetizer as a side dish or even take it with snacks like with crackers with bread with all that yeah <laughs>